So in this video, we will see uh, how to partition your data. So open your file. So just go to uh, partitioning tab. So to partition your data, there is uh, several ways to do that. So let's start uh, with the, the simple. So first, you, you can trim, use uh, an area. So just uh, specify uh, the area you want. So for example, uh, these. if you want to export this part of your map so just click use area do it uh, a new ATX file is uh, created in your working directory so it's named sub like subset one so it asks you if you want to open it immediately so okay if you want Okay, this is the results. So just go back to the main one to show you the, the other option. So partitioning. So that's uh, you can you you can also do a free shape. So just select free shape and then do uh, what you want in the in the map. So and select. So there is the grain adding mode and the grain removing mode. So first to use that you have to detect grain before. So just go to grain detect. Okay, once it's detected, just uh, go back to partitioning tab. So let's take the bond contrast for instance. So, <clears throat> if you want to select only few grain, so here you start from a list of uh, zero grain. So there is no grain uh, in your list. So just add grain to the list. So okay, this one, for example, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. If you want to remove one you have already selected, just click on remove and click here. So it will remove the, this grain. So once you are done, just click here and it will export only these grains. So let's do it. Okay, open it. And you have only the grain you have selected. So just go back to the main uh, map. So you can also remove grain. So in uh, for in the list, all the grain are already selected, and you can remove grain from uh, this list. So just detect grain. Partitioning. So remove grain. So yeah, let's say you don't want to see this grain. This grain. This grain. This one, this one, this one, okay. You want to remove this one from your data, so just do that. Open it. And this one are, are removed. So I open the main one.
Okay, so now there is more um, advanced uh, partitioning, so which is uh, here. So you can select a pixel with a certain uh, quantity. So here in the list, you have all the map you have created here. So let's say we'll calculate other quantity to show you. So we'll detect the grain. Okay, I will calculate, for example, uh, the, 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 the gauss. Yeah, the gauss will be enough. So if you go back to the partitioning, you can see in the list all the quantity you have calculated are present in the list. So let's say you want to select grain with Gauss uh, super, uh, superior to a certain quantity. So just select Gauss. So here it's the minimum value of the Gauss. And, and here it's the, 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 the maximum. So you can choose, for example, 50%. 50%. So it's a grain orientation spray. Uh, so let's do it. 50%. Sorry. Let's have a look. Okay. So these grain are the 50% uh, displaying the maximum gauss. So if you want to, for example, study the texture of those grain as compared to, to, to the others, so just uh, do that and click here, export also the complementary map. So I click here. OK. So the complementary map is created. OK. And the subset map is also created. So you want to open it, OK. So, and now, for example, you can plot the texture of those grain only. So, just go to texture, click on configure, for instance. And you have the texture of uh, those grain only. <coughs> so, do the same for the complementary map, and you will get the corresponding uh, texture. Or you can also do that uh, by uh, grain size, for example. So. Uh, let's go partitioning. So here I didn't uh, calculate the grain, so I will detect the grain first. Okay. Partitioning. Now here you select grain size. And you, you want to see only the, the bigger grains, for example, so 75%. Just click here to, to have an, uh, an overview. Okay, there is only two grains, so 75% was quite uh, too big, it's 50%. Okay, so you have uh, your result here. So you can also mix information. So here you have, uh, you can choose up to three quantities. So let's add one or two, two. Okay, well, two it's enough. So grain size 50%. And then for example, you want a bond contrast uh, of, or mad bond slope more than uh, 50% or so if you want to do that. And you get uh, your results. So here it's end. So you can do or or not 
uh, Axita, so you can mix uh, everything you want. Uh, what you can also do, uh, I think it's uh, it's that's it for the for the partitioning. So thank you.